Welcome to the Beer Church. Be kind and giving, love one another, and drink beer. Those are the founding principles of the Beer Church. The idea started six years ago when Kendall Jones and some friends from Western Washington got together every Friday to drink. They decided after a while their get-togethers seemed almost like going to church. That was the effect it had on them. Since then, the Beer Church has received its own website and 40,000 members in 26 different countries. And there's more to the church than just elbow bending. Last weekend, the Beer Church raised three grand for a group that provides prom gowns for low-income high school girls. And only a Beer Church would call that a charity. They provide prom gowns for low-income high school girls. If you're a beer lover, you too can become an ordained minister in the Beer Church. All it takes is 15 bucks and a pledge to promote the goodness of beer. And remember what Ben Franklin said so many years ago. Beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. Direct, direct quote from Grandpa Ben. What was that madman thinking? Franklin, beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. If you ask me, that pretty much makes the Volstead Act the work of the devil, isn't it? Now, you know I like beer. I like beer as much as the next guy. Actually, more than the next guy. Although, let's face it, I don't know who the hell the next guy is. Who is the next guy? Anyway, regardless, I don't know that I'm ready to join a beer church. Uh, if you want the deity you worship to take charge of your life, abdicating your autonomy to alcohol can be quite dangerous. Um, I, I like to keep I like to keep the two separate myself, but that's me. Beer Church, I don't know. Our beer which yard on earth, holy is its name. Hmm? I'd start to hear that and I'd have to leave. Our beer which yard on earth, holy is its name. Brewery truck comes, drinking gets done, and earth soon feels like heaven. So give us this day a daily dose and forgive what happens after as we forgive those who manufacture light beer and lead us not into a stupor but deliver us from a hangover. For thine is the be-all and the end-all, the alpha, omega, chugga, lugga, 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 power and glory to you, amen, and cheers. I can't be a part of a church like that. Beer church? Used to be held every Sunday. Suddenly it's Saturday nights. Grab your bottle openers. What do they call them? Church keys, right? Taste the spiritual suds, the beatific brew. For you AA guys, end is near beer. Hmm? Non-alcoholic, end is near beer. Mm -hmm. Real thirsty? Real thirsty? Oh, try Jonah's whale ale. Scare the devil out, stout. Father Yager Lager. Fellow over there has had so much he can't stand up. Folks just assume he's genuflecting. Passing out is no sin. Charismatic drinkers call it being slain by the Spirit. Only sin calling for repentance is 
Well, drinking Budweiser. That's a venial sin. Sipping Bud Light would be your mortal sin. Tell you what should be a, a sin is their church choir. Huh? Same song every time. Roll out the barrel. Off key. For the homily, the guy at the pulpit doesn't even wear a robe. That's a, that's a bartender's apron he's got. Hell, that ain't even a pulpit. That's, that is the bar. And that ain't incense. That's a Marlboro. Can't do the beer church. Can't do it.